What is happening, YouTube? Silver Surfer coming back here away again with the video, finally. And it's been a few weeks here, since so I was able to post one. And uh, without further ado, I just wanted to show you guys some updates. Another currency video. Uh, did a coin one not that long ago, my Morgans, and figured I'd show you guys a little currency video. So, without further ado, I wanted to show you a couple of my updates. Actually, one of my updates and one of my pickups. Uh, this right here is the 1917. One dollar legal tender with Mr. George Washington on there. Uh, beautiful note here. Check this out. AU50. Uh, a common note, as I mentioned in my prior video. So I actually upgraded this thing when I first bought it. Uh, I was putting together a 19, excuse me, a, a Washington portrait set, and I was super bummed out uh, from the one I bought. You know, it was a VF20, and just these notes are very inexpensive, uh, relatively speaking. And so when I got it, I was like, man. I just, I'm not really happy with it, but the sale was a, it was a no return sale bid that I won. I got it really, really cheap. I think I paid like $65, $68 for it. And uh, I was like, you know what? I gotta, I have to upgrade that thing. Cause it's the, the one note that I have that is just super inexpensive to own. And um, I had such a poor crappy version of it in my opinion. And I really, really enjoy this note. So I was like, all right, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it. And I did. And I think I got a wonderful note here. Uh, this is, AU50, so about uncirculated, just like coins for the most part. One of the main reasons you can see, it's got some handling, but also this crease right here going through. You see how it's white too? Uh, typically, if you have above a 35 or so, you should expect an EPQ, which makes it a little bit more valuable, but a lot of notes don't get the EPQ or exceptional paper quality. Sorry about the shaky camera here, but anyways, this note was pressed at one time, and you can tell from the crease right there, which doesn't distract me really at all, so... Um, for the price wise, I, you know, you're going to spend maybe 10, 15, $20 more for an EPQ of this version, but, uh, and within this grade, I should say, but, um, anyhow, I thought this was just such a sweet pickup, <coughs> excuse me, great color. The red seals are just really, really vibrant on these things. And I'll show you the reverse here in a minute. And to accompany it, it's uh, brother here. We got Mr. Thomas Jefferson, the 1917 $2 legal tender with the Capitol building on there. Look at that. Old uh, little cars driven by horses, horse carriages. Pretty rad, dudes. I've actually been to the Capitol building. Um, I just love these ornate designs on these things. And the two here just does not get enough justice, I feel like. The most common $2 bill. Um, many of you are probably aware of the new current $2 bills that we got, and I'll get to showing you that here in a second. But um, anyhow, uh, Thomas Jefferson for his first on the $2 bill all the way back in 1869. Uh, and that started with the rainbow note, which looks just like the $1 rainbow note I showed you here, except it's in the uh, form of the $2 note here. So essentially picture this with the, the more greenish kind of background color going around there and whatnot. And uh, and yeah, and he's kind of carried it all the way along until this latest, which is the last issue of the large size $2 notes, um, for legal tender, I should say, um, all the way up until 1928, which they ended up changing over to the small size currency, and I'll show you that next. Um, but I just super dig this note. This is a really cool note, and again, one that I don't think um, deserves itself justice. If you got a star or a fancy serial number or something like that, they can get a little bit more expensive. Great grade. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the mid-grade VF to XF range grade. Um, you know, I think they're probably some of the best, most eye appeal grades for the price, in my opinion. So. Um, and they sell, they sell so easily, they liquidate like none other, it's crazy. But anyway, so that's the front of that. And we'll show you guys the reverse here. This was that uh, sawhorse I was talking about. Take a look at that, just a sweet looking note. So happy with this upgrade. Um, I made all my money back and a little bit some actually on the on the $1 I did sell and uh, ended up buying that, so I was super stoked. And then check this ornate design out. Look at that, the big fat deuce right there. I just love it. I, I think, um, like I said, I don't think these things get as much um, recognition as they really should the twos in general um, just because they're so common they printed so many so many millions of them and you can buy one for really any grade you want and um but i think they're just really really cool look at that ornate design this is so cool all right so like i said in 1928 we ended up switching over to the small size currency um and that was for all really um federal reserve notes legal tender or united states notes and silver certificates but the deuce is an interesting one. This one only stayed with uh, a legal tender until 1976, which I'll show you later as well, um, in which we ended up getting the Federal Reserve note for the, the Bicentennial celebration. So um, these red seals, though, small size ones, again, other notes that I feel are just super 
underappreciated and you can get them for relatively inexpensive. I, don't, I think I paid maybe $10, $15 for this. Um, I'd grade this in a definitely an XF. The borders are a little off, um, which doesn't really affect them until you get up to the MS range or the uncirculated range anyways. But, um, you know, some handling and some folds in there, but I think, I think in the XF range, paper quality is original, that's for sure. And just a sweet looking note, man. All these 1928 small seals have really grown on me lately. And um, I just love them. So they, the next issue of it was the uh, the 1953 series is a 53A. Um, it actually did some changes. You see the, the red seal on the left there and the big two on the right. The red seal shifted over to the right. The two got smaller. They added the gray two there. Um, and those are kind of the big changes. The Brevers still stayed the same with Monticello. Um, and then Mr. Our third president, uh, Jefferson, on the uh, portrait still. This one's in you know worse shape, but I've had this note since I was a kid. And given to me by my dad, so um, definitely will stay in my collection. And then the next note we had was the 1963 series after the 53 series is. Uh, and this note, really the only difference here between this and that, well, there is none on the front except for some signature blocks and um, the Sears series, but it's on the reverse. The reverse, which I'll show you guys, when we added In God We Trust in 1957, I believe it was, to our notes. And then I just picked this thing up here. And I had to have it. Uh, one of my buddies on YouTube, and dude, I'm going to butcher her name again, man. I, I never know how to pronounce it, but Stupaluk, Stup, 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 Black or something like that. Um, he always posts great videos. I've done a shout out for him. The latest shout out I did, him and Mr. Justin Woody. Great channels, you guys. Check both of those out. But um, he posted one that he found, his bank teller actually held for him. And, um, and he got one of these sweet couple of red stars. And, um, and so, yeah, so I was like, you know what? I don't have one of those and I got to get one. I think I paid 10 bucks for this. So super, super cheap and, um, just pristine, uncirculated, beautiful example of a red seal two star. Really cool. And like I said, the reverse, man, just does not get the appreciation. These things are, these things are wild. Check that scene out right there in Monticello, uh, Thomas Jefferson's home. It's down in Virginia, actually. That's one place I have not been to that I'd really like to go tour and visit sometime. But look at that. I love the way the little flower design is uh, kind of extended around the two there. I just think it's so cool. And then the reverse again on the 53A. And then here's that difference I told you guys from the 53 series. Nothing up there. And then you look right here. You got the In God We Trust above the, above the portrait of the, um, or portrait above the vignette of Monticello. And then same thing down on the 63 star. So what do we do afterwards? Again, like I said, we never made any um, uh, $2 bills that were silver certificates, which is unfortunate. Uh, and we didn't make the FRNs or the Federal Reserve notes until 1976 for celebration of the bicentennial year. And this is an example of that. This is a wonderful example with some light handling, never been folded, I don't believe, at least. Um, just some light handling, um, like down on the edge there and whatnot, but an example that is fantastic. And guess what, guys? I found this in circulation in a strap uh, when I was looking through different $2 bills, and it is a star note. It's a 1976 star note, and it is a Richmond district. The Richmond, the um, J, and the I districts are the keys to the 1976 star notes. They did not print a lot of them. As you guys can see, I, the run size, which is not, again, like I mentioned in one of my prior videos, all that of importance, but the total printing here is what it is. Uh, and that's 640,000, so super low print runs. And I, I don't exactly know the numbers on the J and the I um, districts, but I know that I believe they're less and or somewhere around the same. But anyways, um, those things in uncirculated condition, this thing in uncirculated condition, dealers have it for sale at anywhere from like 75 to about 100 bucks. And uh, I mean, this is probably, you know, Mid grade A, mid mid grade to low grade AU. It's got some. I don't know if this is dirt or, um, like I said, this thing has not been really circulated. So I don't know if it's dirt or some type of like, the bill sometimes gets some like this this darkening ink. And I've seen this on a few different two dollar bills here on the in the border. But regardless, just a sweet looking bill and uh, great shape. Found in circulation. Uh, John Trumbull's uh, picture here of. Thomas Jefferson actually presenting the Declaration of Independence, as many of you guys know, he was the primary author of it. Uh, yeah, a little bit of controversy, you know, he was a slave owner on plantations. And, uh, and you know, he's also the gentleman to write, all men are created equal uh, in our Declaration of Independence. So that was kind of, got some controversy, but he's still regarded as one of the greatest presidents ever. And I, and I agree, you know, times are different then. 
it was an unfortunate time, but it, um, times are definitely different and uh, lifestyles are different. So I'll leave it at that, but just a beautiful picture. This original picture is within the Capitol building, which I've had the pleasure of viewing. And um, for anybody that hasn't, I highly recommend you guys get out to the Capitol building if you can and uh, go tour that and you'll be able to see that beautiful uh, picture along with some other amazing frescoes uh, up on the ceiling and uh, other pictures as well. Okay, so that's enough of that. And then last, I got a couple of minutes. I just wanted to share with you guys my latest after the last $1 video I made only a few weeks ago. I've been super, had a couple of days off from, from uh, classes. As you guys know, I'm in school, my doctoral program. And, uh, and yeah, I've had some time off. So I was able to do some strap searching and coin searching. And I found a couple W's, found a few W's. Check that out. Found some silver coinage as well up there in the latest box. Stoked with that. But look at this one, guys. I've got the 359, five trailing zeros, and now this is the second five trailing zeros I found. Very uncommon to find this. Very, very unusual. It's got a little staining there in the bottom uh, at there, bottom corner, but hey, again, decent shape and uh, five trailing zeros. I love that serial number. I think it's pretty cool. Moving on, I found my first pairs note. Look at that, 11444455. I think that's super rad. These are actually more challenging to find than you believe. Um, they are not easy to find. So I was really happy to have that. It's got a little ink stain up top. But again, these are all from circulation. And uh, they all will go for a little bit of a premium over, over face value. That's for sure. All right, moving down here. Here goes some other ones I found as well. Check this repeater out, guys. One, two, six, four. One, two, six, four. Nice and ratty. But again, found in circulation. Love this note right here. This one, last strap of the bunch and a thousand uh, bundle. And just about to toss it in. And call it a day, and this sucker came up with that, 26262222. This is a binary or a two-digit serial number, and it's matching pairs, too. That's just really cool. 26, 26, 22, 22. Love it. One of my favorite notes I found. All right, moving up. Got a radar note, another radar note, 2141, 1412, 2141-1412. Got another little radar note. I actually found this radar and this repeater in the same uh, 1000 bundle. I was just tripping on that. Usually I never get two fancies within one. Uh, and that pair is now all three of those are within a 1500 or excuse me, a 1000 um, strap search that I was going through. So stoked on this as well. 76844867. 76844867. And it's got a little jack in the box stain there, or whatever type of food stain it is. But hey, again, a note that's worth more than face value and found in circulation. And then today, I went and stopped by the old bankaroo, and for all you hotshots out there, as myself in this currency hunting thing we call, this was a brick that I got. So what should I get from that serial number, as you see right there? I knew right away when I got in my car that I was getting something. Silver Surfer was scoring for the day, and nice uncirculated. And you can tell these are all crisp uncirculated. And I went straight to this bundle right here. Right here, guys, for this serial number up here for a reason, and that reason was to go find that one right there. 455-00554, look at that sweet looking radar note, man. Fantastic radar note, found from uh, pulling this brand new strap out, and like I said, you can tell, because the 45500, if you have the fourth and fifth digit matching, you're gonna get a radar note, unless it's replaced with a star note, you will get a radar note in this 1000 brick. Or if you have the first digit, which is a four there, and the fifth digit, which is a zero matching, you will get a repeater. So that's at the bare minimum, right? Now, if you had this note was four, or the serial number started four, five, 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 five. Uh, yeah, four, five, 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 five. You'd get a seven of a kind. You get a super radar. You get all kinds of sweet things. But this was not that. However, it was still an awesome, awesome radar. And I did keep the four, five, five, zero, zero, four, five, five note as well, just for the heck of it. And lastly, my buddy, man, Dustin Witte, he came through. Check this out, guys. You've probably seen this if you watch this video. But him and I made a trade, and um, he's happy with this trade, and I am beyond ecstatic with my trade. Six of a kind. Uh, excuse me. Look at all the different sixes. Seven of a kind of sixes uh, with one nine. It just, it, this note is just fabulous. Crisp, uncirculated condition. Absolutely amazing. Um, thank you, Dustin. I appreciate that, man. And uh, if you guys have not checked out his channel, that's Dustin Witte. Go over and check him out. Um, just fantastic currency collector uh, and coin collector. And uh, love this note, guys. So anyways, that's all I got for right now. My time is up. Hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and comment. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Talk to you later. Silver Surfer out.